Good morning friends and happy Friday. It's a beautiful sunny day so I decided to do our calendar and our morning business outside today. All right, so it's Friday, Friday! It's the 27th day of March, a two, right, a two and a seven, okay? We have 26 tally marks, you need to write one more for a total of 27. Okay, color one finger. So this is our March weather graph. Beautiful sun. I'm gonna draw a nice, nice, beautiful sun here since I ran out of suns, okay? We will count up all our sunny days, all our cloudy days, and all of our rainy days and answer the questions on for our graph, okay? Actually, next, uh, next month in April, we're gonna start working on graphs. And we already know what graphs are. Plus, we, we've used them with sight words. Hi, Sophia, hi, Snoopy. It's okay. No problem. All right. This is my last line for the write the date. Uh, I will be sending mommies and daddies more paper. So we write the date 3 27 dash 2020. I couldn't do it. There we go. And. Today is the 128th day of school, so we write 128, 128. Let me write it, 128, okay? 128. And I haven't heard that anybody else has lost a tooth. I know Evan had a wiggly tooth, so I'll check in on him and find out if he's lost his tooth yet. And that's it, that's the end. All right, so. In math, we were talking about weight. This is a scale. Uh, it's the measurement of the heaviness of an object. And we're focusing on the word heavier. In this picture, the apple is heavier than the pencil. It pulls the scale down, okay? And the pencil goes, lifts up. It's kind of like a seesaw. If you've ever been to a park and played on a seesaw, one, one goes up, one goes down. One side goes up, one side goes down. In this case, the apple makes it stay down because it's heavier than the pencil. And the other word is lighter. The pencil is lighter than the apple. It's going up because the apple's weight is pushing the other side down. Okay? All right. Oh, tell him not to bite you. All right. So, our, is this the last day for the sight word he? I know you have a he sentence. Tell him not to bite you. He's, he's not biting. You have a sentence today uh, with the sight word he, and it can be he is sitting on the grass. Okay, and then draw a picture that matches with it. But draw anything that goes along with your sentence that has sight word he in it today. And you have a free right today. Snoopy's not biting. Snoopy's not biting, no. Um, that's Sophia and our dog Snoopy. I'll show you Snoopy in a moment. Um, your free right can be about anything you want. Um, make sure you put spaces in between your words and end with a punctuation mark, usually a period, okay, friends? Um, and that should be lots of fun. I know you love free rights. And let me end today with a devotional. Today's word is careful. I, I see you, Mama. I see you, too. Come sit down. Listen to the, to the devotion. The words from the Bible say, a person who is careful about what he says keeps himself out of trouble. And that's from Proverbs 21, 23. Careful words. Oh, let's listen. The words you say can be kind. The words you say can make someone happy. Be careful with the words you say. Always use kind words instead of hurtful words. Thank you. Use words that are pleasing to God. Use words that are pleasing to your mom and dad. So be gentle with him. Use words that are pleasing to your friends, brothers and sisters, grandparents, everybody in your family, okay? Be sure to tell the truth. Oh, we always talk about that in class. Then your words will be careful words. And the prayer says, Dear God, Help me to be careful with my words so that they are pleasing to you. In Jesus' name, amen. 
So careful is the word of the day. I hope you have a lovely Friday. And I hope you get to work on some of the activities on Seesaw. This video is also going to be posted on Seesaw and on YouTube, okay? Um, have a great day. Bye, friends. Machu, do again. Machu, again.